Katrina Madewell here, and today I'm going to answer the question, should I put solar panels on my home? Should you go solar? Now, I get this question very often about sellers looking to reduce, normalize, or stabilize their energy costs. And people ask me all the time, should I get solar panels on my home? And the truth is, you need to seriously consider if this is a good option for you and if it's the right option for you. If you're not going to be in your home long term, over a decade long term or more, I probably would not put solar panels on your home. The two things that we're seeing in the market right now are rented solar panels or purchased solar panels. We just had a challenge in the market where a seller had rented solar panels and the buyer did not want to take over that lease contract. The salesperson had told them that there was not a lien on their home and they could easily sell it or have the panels removed. This was not the case when it came time to sell the property. So life happens and sometimes you may need to make a change around your living situation. Solar panels can significantly hinder your ability to take all of your equity. Do they have value? Value? Sure they do. An appraiser is likely going to give them some value. How much? Well, that's really an opinion of value. Aside from that, it can sometimes be harder to sell properties with solar panels. And the most important thing I need to leave you with is the fact that you'll be paying those off as the seller when they're on your home. Don't count on the fact that a buyer is going to want to take over those payments and assume the rest of the solar use on that property for the rest of the time. Finally, many of these companies do not even offer to remove and reinstall or transfer the solar panels on their own equipment they have sold. So be leery of salespeople that will tell you anything they think you wanna hear just to sell you a solar system that will in fact place a lien on your home and it can also hinder your ability to refinance in a future. Many times these secondary liens have to be subordinated always for a new lender to be first lien position, let's say if the rates drop. And in that particular case, if you can't get the lien subordinated, you now can't refinance your house, possibly hindering you in thousands and thousands of dollars in savings. So my takeaway, unless you have the ability to pay cash for solar or a significant down payment and you're okay paying those panels off at closing, I probably would not do it. A better option might be to consider replacing your windows instead. Don't forget to check out MySafeFLHome.com. The government is actually issuing a lot of grants and uh, assistance if you want to upgrade some of the things on your home. They actually will give you a free inspection to check these things and see if you can save money. Find out how the state of Florida is offering you no strings attached money on MySafeFLHome.com. There's apply now right at the top. Good chance you'll get Barrel Engineering and Inspections, one of our show partners, to come do your inspection. As always, call me if you have any questions about any of the stuff out there or any of the noise. I'm always happy to clear this up and answer some of your questions so you get factual information putting you in a great position to succeed. I'm Katrina Madewell. Thanks so much for watching my video. Have a great day.